Hi dolls, welcome back to my YouTube channel. In today's video, I'll be showing you how I did this burnt orange overlay. It's the gel overlay. So, actually, this was a fail, and I first started started by filing off the old color, and we still have some of the gel overlay from her previous sets. These are her natural nails. I think only two broke and I fixed them from her last fill. Other than that, all of them are her nails. So when I start with before I do my overlay, the first thing I do is apply um apply primer this primer I use both for my gels and acrylics as you can see I'm applying it on the growth where her natural nail is actually exposed and then I go in with my favorite planet nails elastic rubber base so this one is, is uh, what you call a <laughs> so yeah this one is a base coat actually yeah so I go in with that first and then I apply it, I apply it on all of the nail, the whole nail. And also make sure to seal your free edge as well so that actually just you should never forget to seal your free edge with anything that you apply, whether it be your base coat or your color and your top coat, that is very important. You must cap you. Age all the time and for this I always do one coat if um, my if I'm doing a feel because already we have some products underneath what I'm applying already so yeah I only do one coat of that and then I cure so that I get ready for my next step After I've cured the elastic, I go in with my buff of gel from Planet Nails as well. Um, it is easy buff off, I think it's in clear. So uh, I go in with very uh, small amounts of that and I do, I actually built my apex and from the, the exposed nail because already, like I said, we already have product on that and we do have a stronger apex before that so I'm just building that nice overlay thing I don't want to call it on, on the, the nail grew and then so most of the product is going to be on where the nail grew and then I just stroke out the rest of the product to the free edge so that it becomes level that I cure those for 60 seconds in my UV light and then the next step I use a sanitizer to wipe off the tacky layer I don't know if you guys noticed this but with uh, Planet Nail Sanitizer and their wipe off it is the same ingredients I uh, at this one time I was checking out the ingredients for both the products. It was actually the same thing. I was so mad about that because now you get to buy a sanitizer as well as a, a wipe, a gel wipe off. But it's the same thing. So I've stopped buying the gel wipe off. So I just use the sanitizer to wipe off the tech layer. And then after that, I file lightly file the nails to make them level. Yes, the gel is self leveling, but the the nails are not going to be as smooth as you want them to be so i just slightly uh file those with my 100 grit filer and yeah you you're not going to need to buff or um buff off after your filing because you're just doing a, a very light filing so you're actually doing two in one you're filing and also buffing at the same time 
and lastly to prepare for your gel polish overlay you need to dust off the dust from the filing make sure there's no dust on your nails so that you, it, your gel polish is not going to create bubbles and start peeling so yeah that is very crucial some other salons they wash their hands but unfortunately for me i do not have a sink in my salon so that's what i can do you can also use uh, your sanitizer again to spray off the dust while well, you use your brush first and then um, spray it again but I do not want to compromise my gel polish overlays this works for me and it lasts just as long so I go in with my planet gel polish in the color 045 it is a burnt orange, burnt orange color so yeah I apply three coats of that uh, curing in between of course and yeah this is a very beautiful color for spring or summer um, I was actually surprised that this plant of mine um, had no nail art with these because normally she goes in funky but this time she just wanted a plain set and yeah this is a very beautiful color you can never go wrong and yeah I'm sure she's gonna enjoy it and she also did her toes as well unfortunately I cannot get that on camera because my battery had died she got the same color on her toes she also has beautiful toenails as well um, and um, I didn't take a picture as well because I could have included that yeah but anyway her nails were cute nonetheless and she loved them and she herself could not believe that these are her natural nails because her nails need to break but we managed to grow them and they are very strong because of the hard gel overlay so you guys should try that with your clients as well what i do is i let them do acrylics maybe come in for a fill again and then we soak them off and then start doing overlays that's also a cool way of growing and to finish off i am using my clear tears from planet nails which is one of my best um top coats in the whole world <laughs> of course i've no, i haven't tried most of them but this one shines like i don't know uh, the shine stays forever more especially on your jaw overlays because jaw already has a shine itself so it's double the shine and the nails are gonna be shining for a while so yeah and to finish it off i go in with my extreme um my extreme cuticle oil from planet nails as well that's the only one i know and it smells beautiful the clients um baby girl was in the salon as well and she asked for some and she was like this smells so nice so you can never go wrong with that and y'all yeah, this is our final product and i hope you guys enjoyed this video it was very simple like it's a very simple set of nails and the procedure is very simple as well uh, just needs practice if you are a beginner so yeah, please guys do not forget to like this video also subscribe and click on the notification bell below to get notifications for my new videos and yeah love you so much and see you next time